You're fast approaching it may be time to rethink where your student is set up for remote learning. Yes, yeah, Sandra Ali shows us in tonight's Kids at Home report the kitchen table may not be the best spot for your student to stay focused. In some way, shape or form, your children will likely be spending a great deal of time learning from home, at least to start off the school year. Tonight, we're showing you how one former teacher and local mom is setting up her daughter for success. This hat and vest zone is going to be where her desk is going to be. Like many parents, Ebony Creighton is tired of doing schoolwork at the kitchen table. My tolerance for doing work at the kitchen table is like coming to a close. At the beginning of the summer, after she decided she would homeschool her seven-year-old daughter, she wanted to transform a space in their home they could use as their own classroom. There is nothing wrong with the kitchen table, um, if that's the space that you have. Mm -hmm. But I think going into this school year, we're wanting to be a little more focused and it's not like crash course learning. Once she found her space, free from distractions, she picked a few other designated spots in their house where they could be more creative. A blanket on the floor or a rug with a clipboard changes things. Sometimes it's just fun to sit on the floor with a clipboard. Ebony went online to some of her favorite sites to stock up on things for her daughter she would use in a second grade classroom beyond the typical school supplies. There's a place called School Specialty Supply that has a really nice lower elementary and, and elementary age dictionary. There's a thrifty books and they resell curriculum and materials that normally would be super expensive for really, really cheap eBay is another good place. A lot of homeschoolers will resell some of their materials there. Evan Moore Publishers. Now this was one of my favorites when I was teaching. They have like user friendly on both ends for the child and for the student. Ebony, a former elementary school teacher in Southfield, always tells parents one of the best investments they'll make if they're teaching their children at home, a simple whiteboard. You can demonstrate it better than you could just giving them a million flashcards. And that's something they're familiar with in the classroom. Ebony says she's planning on using her new homeschool setup Monday through Thursday with her daughter. And then on Fridays, doing things a little bit differently, maybe using other parts of their house, like using the kitchen for home economics or getting out into the backyard for a science lesson. Back to you.